Two elementary school students are accused of damaging four classrooms at their school, causing an estimated $15,000 in damage. Eight on your side, Chip Wasowski joins us now live from J.D. Floyd Elementary School in Spring Hill with how these two youngsters were caught. Chip. Well, Josh, first of all, they were captured on surveillance video. Secondly, they wrote on one of the whiteboards in one of those classrooms. And as we all know, everyone has a unique style of handwriting, and apparently, one of the teachers recognized theirs. It's just hurtful. I said, these little babies, they just started school, and now they're coming in because you were bored on a Saturday, and you destroyed their classroom. J.D. Floyd Elementary Principal Joyce Lewis didn't mince words when speaking with the two students who admitted to trashing four classrooms, the most severely damaged, two kindergarten homerooms. They had centers and all the things all made up so nice. They had beautiful classrooms, and it was just food everywhere. They put um, an Italian dressing bottle in the microwave with a metal cup and set it off, and it just, you know, I mean, they're lucky they didn't blow their faces off. Parents of other students at the school wonder where the parents of the 8- and 9-year-old suspects were while they were vandalizing the school. Very disappointed, but I think my first thought is, what is an eight and nine year old doing out by themselves without parents? And I mean, I have a seven year old and I wouldn't dare let him just get out and run around without me. The morning teachers discovered the damage. There was no shortage of helping hands. People were coming over. What can I do? They were hugging them. It was like, you know, it was like a morning, you know, um, uh, not morning a.m., but, you know, they, everyone was like, there was what? We, they were violated. And the two students, again, eight and nine years old, are currently suspended for 10 days. They could be expelled. School board members have yet to decide if they will pursue criminal charges in this case. Reporting live in Spring Hill, I'm Chip Osowski, eight on your side.